Welcome everybody to 2020. I'm Diane Conklin. I sound like Barbara Walters, don't I? <laughs> I'm Diane Conklin with CompleteMarketingSystems.com and I am excited about a brand new year and uh, being able to bring you some amazing content this year. And so I'm going to start off the year with just that. I'm really, really excited. I'm going to be talking about something that you may have heard me talk a little bit about before. I call this plans. And um, it's really the foundation of your business. It's what your business is built on. And there are five principles that I'm going to talk to you about today. And I'm going to try to keep this short, so I'm not going to go into great detail, but I'm certainly available to answer questions and to have um, dialogue if you're interested in knowing more about this. So PLANS, that's an acronym. I'm big on acronyms. I love acronyms. And so the acronym stands for Plan and Prepare, Leverage, Action, Next and Now, and Strategy and Systems. Because I'm an overachiever, I can't just go with one. <laughs> so the P and the N and the S all have two different things, but they fit very well together. So let's start off and talk about the plan and prepare piece of this. So critically important, especially as we go into a brand new year and a brand new decade, a brand new month and a brand new day, really, right? It's important that as you go into all of those things, you know and understand what it is that I'm doing today. What's my plan for the day? What do I need to, to have prepared for tomorrow, right? What do I need to do today so that I, I, I can have tomorrow in my business, right? And so it really boils down to this. What's your plan? So many entrepreneurs that I see don't have a plan. I'm not talking about some big complicated thing, right? I'm talking about the basics here of just a basic plan, whether it's a weekly, a monthly. Um, one of the things that I talk a lot about is not planning farther ahead than 90 days because once you get beyond 90 days things change too rapidly so i have sort of what i call my penciled in plan for the year my annual plan and then i have my pinned in sort of 90 day plan and even that you want to be flexible with right so this is about having something that you know you want to do, having that plan so that you're not just going into your office every day, your team isn't going into their office every day, not knowing what it is that you're going to do and just throwing mud on the wall because that takes a lot of time and energy and uh, takes a lot of time to clean it up as well. So plan and prepare is the first level. Leverage. So many ways to leverage in our business. We certainly can't get into them in a, in a quick video here today, but think about leverage. You leverage other people's time with team and staff. You leverage um, with systems, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. You leverage with things like your CRM, right? No matter what you're using. You leverage with automation. Um, many times, for some of you, you may be leveraging with other people's money, right? Other people's time kind of thing. Automation is a big leverage point, but really take a look as we go into this new year about Look at what are the systems that you're using that allow you to leverage and are there systems out there that you should be adding or things that you should be doing to add leverage. And I'm just quickly, one of the things that holds many people back is this step, right? We try to be solopreneurs instead of entrepreneurs. And so the, the challenge I'm going to give you is even if you bring somebody onto your team, even if you bring somebody on virtually, or whether it's virtual, it doesn't really matter. But here's the thing, you don't have to hire somebody full time to start off. What if you hired somebody for 10 hours a month? What are the things that you could hand off that would free up 10 hours a month of your time? If you want to make two, three, four, five hundred, a thousand bucks an hour, right? Anything that you're doing now that is bringing in less than that, you could have somebody else utilize. And that's a leverage piece. A is for action. I want you taking massive, focused, deliberate action. And if you have a plan, it's easy to do that, right? If you've got that plan, it's easy to take massive action. It's, it's easy to be deliberate. It's easier to be focused. And you, you've got to set systems up in your business so that when you're taking action, when you're in the mode of taking action, you are so focused that, that nothing else in the world, in, in your life, pr pretty much matters, right? Um, and there are a lot of ways to do that. Time blocking is a way to do it. Um, you know, turning phones off is a way to do it, but you've got to be focused and you've got to, got to take massive 
action toward your goal. You've got to implement. You've got to get things done. This is about completions, not starting things, but completions. Let's move to the end. Next and now. So important to, to know what you're doing now. And again, your plan provides that. But what's the next thing? What's the next thing that you have coming up? What's the next thing your client wants? or needs. It's really about what they want, but what's the next thing you're going to offer? Because if you're a one trick pony, right? If you're only doing one thing, then people are going to go elsewhere to get the, the other things that they need. And what you really want them to do is stick with you. So what what's what's the next thing? What are you doing now? And what's the next thing that you have going on? And then the critical piece is strategy and systems. Everything that you do, if you ask yourself when you do it, the strategy, what is, why am I doing this? What's the end result that I want? If you will be more strategic in your business, forget about tactics, be strategic. Strategy lasts a long time. Tactics are here, are here and gone. What's the reason? Start with the end in mind is, is the strategy I use so many times in my business and when I'm helping my clients. What is it that you want? What's the strategy? What's the result? And then how do you systemize things? Again, leveraging and what are the systems that you have in place to be able to, to utilize those strategies and have things go off much quicker, much faster, and in a way that doesn't require you to always be there doing those things. Because here's the thing, you don't manage people we really manage the systems that we put in place. So there you have it. Five, five foundations for your business. Plan and prepare, leverage, action, next and now, strategy and systems. And if you see the graphic there on the, on the lower right, all of those things work in conjunction. You almost can't talk about one without the other. And then all that mess in the middle with the arrows, is, it shows you it's, it's not a linear thing. It's not a circular thing. It's, all of those things relate to one another. So as we come to the conclusion today of our quick video, I just wanted to show you this, right? So look at the bottom of the triangle. That's the foundation. That's what we just talked about, right? Plans. That's across the bottom. Once you have that foundation laid, then you can talk about what are the programs, products, and services that you want to add? What are those things? Then you can really scale. And then once you've scaled and gotten to the top, then you can be what I call the business owner. That's when you're the visionary. That's when you can expand your business. That's when you can think about expanding into different businesses, right? So once you lay that foundation, the foundation is the, is the ground upon which everything else in your business gets built. Um, so here's what I'd like to offer you. If you'd like a free planning calendar for the year, for 2020. That's what it's going to look like. If you simply go to yourfreemarketingcalendar.com, yourfreemarketingcalendar.com, uh, it's a, it's available there for you. Uh, just put in your name and email. I already, I'm already doing stuff with you, but um, put in your name and email. You'll get this calendar and a little system for how to how to how to work it and how to use that to really catapult your success in this year in 2020. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have other things you'd like to hear about, let me know. I'm Diane Conklin with CompleteMarketingSystems.com. Until next time, make it a great day.